children today i am here to teach about delhi sultans the period between 1206 to 1526 ad is called the period of sultanates five dynasties ruled over northern india they are Slave dynasty or Ghulam dynasty. Next, Gilgi dynasty, Tukluk dynasty, Sayyid dynasty and Lodi dynasty. Now, let us try to understand Ghulam dynasty or Slave dynasty. The founder of Slave dynasty was Kutputti Ayu. He belonged to the family of Afghanistan Turks. He was educated in Arabic, Persian languages. Children, he was expert in archery, horse riding and soldiering. Who was Mahmud Ghori? Mahmud Ghori was the governor of Ghazni and he purchased Kutputti Aybak as a slave. In your last class children, you have learnt about first battle and second battle of the rain. In the second battle of the rain, that is which took place in 1192, which was fought between Mahmud Ghori and Prithivara Chavan. In the battle, Kutputin Haibak helped Mahmud Ghori to fight against Prithiviraj. And children, you all know the reason. Prithiviraj was defeated and he was killed by Mahmud Ghori. So, so the appreciation are in return. Mahmud Ghori appointed Kutputrin Aybak as the successor of North India. Kutputrin Aybak ruled for four years. He became independent king and he ruled for four years. And during his reign, he started the construction of Kutiminar. Children, let us try to understand more about Iltamish and his achievements. Iltamish was slave of Kutputin Aybak. He belonged to the family of Ilbari. He was the administrator of Gwalia. After the death of Kutputin Aybak, he became the ruler of slave dynasty. As he was an efficient administrator, the cousin king Tajuddin el Dod, since Nasruddin Kapata, revolted against him. As he was brave, efficient ruler, he was successful in defeating them. And also, he conquered places such as Ajmer, Banaras, Ranatambur, Kannuj, etc. Appreciating his capacity in the field of administration, Khalifa Bagda gave administrative power to Iltamish. In order to have efficient administrative system, he divided his kingdom into provinces and it was looked after by provincial officers. And he appointed 40 sardars to advise him in administrative issues. In times of need, the prime minister and judges used to advise him. 
and he brought gold and silver coins into circulation. He completed Kudubinar which was started by Kutputte Aibak. Now we will learn about Rasya Sultana who was the first woman ruler of Delhi. She was daughter of Iltamash. A character was she was bold, brave and learned. As she was learned, she had complete idea about government, how to rule, how to control the people etc. Another what we have to appreciate is she used to take part in all the battles dressing as a man. Appreciating her courage, she was given the title called Sultana. She ruled from Sindhu to Bengal. As she was becoming famous day by day, some of his provincial officers were not able to tolerate her. So, they killed her. I continue in the next class. Some of the topics are deleted for this year. That is just mark the contributions of Rajputs, the arrival of Turks and the contribution of Delhi Sultans. Okay children, thank you.